and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how easy it is to subscribe to this channel. Now pay close attention. At the beginning of the video, you should see a little box in the top right corner. Click on this. Let's take it to this page. At this point there, you just click that. And hey Pesto, you've subscribed. As an added bonus, if I manage to reach 100 subscribers, by the start of September 2013, I'm going to send all my subscribers a very special thank you video. Don't forget, if you wish to discuss any of the matters discussed in the show, you can email me here at Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Now let's do the right thing, and I'm God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 33 Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, Esau was coming, and with him four hundred men. He divided his children between Leah, Rachel, and the two servants. He put the servants and their children in front, Leah and their children after, and Rachel and Joseph at the rear. He himself passed over in front of them, and bowed himself to the ground seven times, and suddenly came near to his brother. Esau ran to meet him, embraced him, fell on his neck, kissed him, and they wept. He lifted up his eyes and saw the women, and the children said, Who are these with you? Jacob said, The children whom God has graciously given your servant. Then the servants came there with their children, and they bowed themselves. Leah also, and her children came there, and bowed themselves. After them, Joseph came there with Rachel, and they bowed themselves. Esau said, What do you mean by all this company which I met? And Jacob said, To find favour in the sight of my lord. Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Let that which you have be yours. Jacob said, Please know, if I have now found favour in your sight, now receive my presence at my hand, because I have seen your face, as one sees the face of God, and you were pleased with me. Please take the gift that I brought you, because God has dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. He urged him, and he took it. Esau said, Let us take our journey, and let us go, and I will go before you. Jacob said to him, My lord knows that the children are tender, and that the flocks and herds with me have their young, and if they overdry them one day, all the flocks will die. Please, my lord, pass over before his servant, and I will lead on gently, according to the pace of the livestock that are before me, and according to the pace of the children, until I come to my lord to say it. Esau said, Let me now leave with you some of the flock who are with me. He said, Why, let me find favour in the sight of my lord. So Esau returned that day on his way to say it. Jacob travelled to Sikarth built himself a house and made shelters for his livestock. Therefore the name of the place is called Sakaf. Jacob came in peace to the city of Shisham, which is in the land of Canaan. When he came from Padam Aram, the camp before the city, he brought the parcel of ground where he had spread his tent, at the hand of the children of Hamor, Shisham's father, for one hundred pieces of money. He erected an altar there, and called it El Eloi Israel. <laughs>